I don't think people today realize how mathematical and detailed the whole construction of pages was, and still is. It's just done behind the scenes for you automatically. It must be obvious now to those of us employed in the graphic arts that we will, in the next five years, undergo more changes than any other industry in the history of our country. Your original question was, tell me about the typesetting process. It's part of a much larger picture. If you look at the evolution of printing, there were many reasons why photo typesetting overtook hot metal. For it is by tape that future equipment will be reached. You would ring the typesetter, you would name your typeface, you would read the text over, and you would get it back. There was no WYSIWYG. You couldn't see what you were doing. It was just a bunch of codes. Sometimes it came back the way you envisioned it, and sometimes it didn't. The important thing is not to panic. Whatever you've lost, it's around here somewhere. I hated doing pay stuff. I was terrible at it. Today, the printed word is expressed and executed with technological advancements never dreamed possible even a few years ago. Any new technology is always going to have reactionaries, and it's going to have experimenters, and it's kind of wonderful to see both things come together. It's amazing how quickly the technology changed from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. Hello, I am Macintosh. All of that old technology, just gone. Well, what are you going to call this new invention? I blurted out, well, we might call it desktop publishing. Being able to directly manipulate type, photography, color, that's what it's all about. That's the revolution. You could actually design a typeface on a lark. This is the first one that I did, this one, look. Up until 1960, 70, if Gutenberg came back, Gutenberg would have been comfortable in that studio. The studio now, well, well, the amazing thing is, this is the studio. That's it.